Hello guys, welcome back to some more Grand Theft Auto Vice City. In the last episode, we purchased the Cuffman Cab Taxi business and managed to complete the missions for the taxi place. Now we've got that place generating some money for us, we're now going to purchase another business, the Malibu Nightclub. I think this Malibu nightclub is the most expensive business to buy in the game, but between this episode and the last episode, I did save up some money. I've got a significant amount of money now, so I can now purchase the Malibu Club. Alright, let's purchase the Malibu Club. Okay, so now I've purchased the Malibu Club, let's go inside, let's go start a mission. For the Malibu Club, there are four missions to complete the Malibu Club. We've got three normal missions, then we've got a massive bank heist to pull at the end, which is actually quite a fun mission, so... Right, let's begin the first mission. Tommy! Hey, Tommy, look at this. This is great. I've got us this mini bar installed. We got a whole bar downstairs, Ken. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, I got the chalkboard you asked for. Ah, that's the benefit of a law school education. The ability to follow instructions. No, I need a safe man. Oh, all right, well, let me think. Safe, safe, safe. I got it. This guy will blow you away. Ah, no, nah, that schmuck. He's on the inside. Where inside? In a police headquarters cell awaiting transfer. I think he's about to get paroled. Break Cam Jones out of police cussy ass. So we're gonna break some of the out of prison. I can't lie, this is a very this is actually quite a fun mission to do. I want to go steal that supercar, but he's getting away. Alright, so the police station we need to go to is the one just in the distance over there. The Malibu Club missions, uh, they're very mixed in my opinion. There are two missions for the Malibu Club that I like. Obviously, this mission and the one where you pull off the bank job at the end. The second mission with the shooting range mission, that's not a terrible mission, but it's not one of my favourites in the game. And the, the third mission of the game, which is the mission called The Driver, I absolutely hate that mission. It's my least favourite mission in the game, and it's also the hardest mission in this game for me. Okay, so I need to go in here and get a police uniform. This should make the breaking out a lot easier. The key card to sales can be found upstairs in the station. All right. It's just that calm and casual and just grab what we need. So these where the cells are, so we're going to need to find the, the key card before we can break him out. Actually, second of all, I need to have the car outside, don't I? I'll just make sure the car's outside. Actually, if the car's... Actually, yeah, the car will be all right there. I'll just make sure we wasn't too far away because, obviously, when we break this guy, we're going to have the police on our tail. There's the card right there. You know, it's got the card, and I found myself a nice hidden package. That's my second hidden package in the game. I'm not doing very well with hidden packages in this game, but yeah, they're not compulsory, so we won't worry about them too much. Okay. Let's go break this guy out of prison. Someone's about to get paroled. Cam Jones? Yeah, that's me. I'm busting you out. Whatever you say. Lose the heat and get me back to my place. Yep, the police are on our tail, just like that. Get out of here. Try to quick grab some ammo. Yeah, they read on this guy again. I don't know what this guy's up to over the years, but... He's going to help us break that safe when we do the bank robbery, so we're definitely going to need this guy. Don't worry, pal. I'll get you out of here. Right, let's run for the exit. Come, I need you to get to the car. Wow, okay, that was pretty close. Right, let's go, quickly. I need... I oh, need get off me, please, car. Bloody hell, these guys are going to stop. I need to find a paint spray fast. To get these police off my tail, it'll make things so much easier. Okay, it's a big car right there. Just make sure I don't crash into him. Nice. Well, I'm going to go this way. 
I just need to find a good pay and spray fast and get these police off my tail. Four stars for breaking this guy out of prison. Yeah, I mean, this guy's not a very popular man with the police. He's obviously been involved with some serious crimes over the years. He's obviously got a bit of experience on up his ass then. Ah, oh, fuck off, you police officer. You're doing my head in now. Oh my god. Oh, I'm getting out. Come on, friend, you're coming with me. Here's a car. Get in, quickly. We ain't got time to fuck around. Oh god, this way. Okay, we've been a bit lucky so far, I think. But we're still got the police chasing us, so I've not been busted yet, so. Okay, the. Let's head down this way. Okay, the pain spray is just here. I've got three stars now, make things a little bit easier, but the pain spray is just here. Here we are, here's our pay and spray. Oh man, that was close. Get Cam back to his house. Alright. The police are off our tail for now. Let's get out of here. Let's go take Ham back to his house before the police before I get the police back on my tail again. Hopefully that doesn't happen. No. Right, starts off flashing, so the police are off our tail completely. Let's get Cam back to his house and we'll end the mission off. And just like that, Cam has got himself paroled. I just hope he proves his usefulness when we rob the bank later in the episode. Doing a job, and you're my safe cracker. Beats losing my ass in his cell. Okay, he sounds up for it. Cast that mission complete, just like that. All right. So let's go head back to the Malibu Club now, and let's go do the second mission, which is a mission called the Shootest. I can't lie, this mission is not one of my least. It's not. It's not a mission I hate, but it's not one of my favourites. So for this mission we're going to meet a very iconic Grand Theft Auto character called Phil Cassidy. And we're going to need this guy who's an expert in shooting for the bank. Obviously someone who can handle the weapon, we're definitely going to need somebody like that for the bank job. Phil Cassidy's going to be the perfect man to do it. This guy in Vice City Stories was a bit of a character, and this game, he also has a bit of a character. I mean, he certainly had a bigger... I think he had a much bigger personality in Vice City Stories in my opinion, but... Yeah, this character certainly stands out, just because of how, how much of a personality this guy's got. He loves his guns, has a bit of a nutty personality, loves alcohol, so yeah, this guy's definitely got a bit of a character to him. But the actual mission is you've got to prove you're good at shooting, and yeah, it's not really one of my missions, to be honest. But we've got to do it anyway, so we're definitely going to need a shootist for the bank job. I literally just want to chuck a grenade on the floor right now and just blow everyone up, but I'm not going to do that. Especially now I own space. In fact, we've got Automatic, the point is the song playing this nightclub. Yeah, great song. We need a stick-up man, you know one? Hey, Tommy, 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 this stuff keeps you sharp, man. Woo! I could be your stick-up man. Stick him up, stick him up! You ain't a stick-up man, you're an idiot. Now get yourself a drink and shut up. Hey, get out of my way! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Relax. Cam, what do you think? Well, the best shooter in this town is a guy named Cassidy. Is that so? Yeah, a military guy, or thinks he is. I doubt he was ever in the army, but he certainly knows how to get a hold of guns. He'll be down at the shooting range. Go to Emily and downtown talk to Phil Cassidy. So go meet this guy who mostly spends a lot of time at the shooting range. All right. Let's go pay this guy a visit, just hopefully he'll be up for the bank job. Although, we'll definitely go prove our worth to him first before he'll be commissioned. Just like we had to break uh, that guy out of prison, we've got to do the job for this guy as well. It's not this job that annoys me the most. The mission I really hate in this game is the, the next one coming up, which is a mission called The Driver. If you've, made, if you've played GTA Vice City before, I think you'll, you'll know how annoying this mission is. 
Okay, so if we head past North Point Mall, then we're going to head onto a bridge that's going to take us to to the ammunition in downtown Vice City. So if we cut through this way, we'll be able to get to ammunition quicker that way. Oh, oh shit. No, 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 no. Am I going to get up? Am I going to get up? Oh, I'm up. Ho, ho, ho. That was lucky. Okay, let's get to ammunition. Get out of my way, man. Should just ram straight into the guy. The ammunition in downtown has its own shooting range, unlike all the other ammunitions in downtown. In, unlike all the other ammunitions in Vice City. No, no, no. If I drive like this, I'm not going to beat the next mission, no chance. I've just got to pray for the best, I think, for the next for the next mission, I think. While I'm in here, oh, I can't buy anything yet. I was going to buy some body armor. You Phil Cassidy? Why? I'm looking for a man who can handle a gun. From this setup, I'm not too convinced. Son, I can shoot a fly off your head at 80 feet. Oh, really? Yeah, I learned it in the Army. Fly shooting real popular in the Army? Glad I don't pay tax. You trying to be funny, kid? <laughs> the shoot! Okay, here we go. Here's me tight as you can in the time limit. So I've got to get a score of 60, I believe, if I remember correctly. When you run out of time at ammunition, the round is over. Close target is worth one point, and the furthest target away is worth about two, I think. Yeah, no, the middle target is two, and I imagine the ones further away are worth three. Yes. All right, let's do this. I'm ready. I've got to concentrate for this. Take it to the round, press the square button. Alright, once I've got 60 points, I'll probably end this mission. Live ammunition! Aim! 3, 2, 1, fire! Let's do this. Ask a start. Great start, not so much. There goes one down, get rid of this one. There we go. That guy down, good. Okay, it's not been the best start. I'm definitely not the best at manual shooting, as we've seen in previous episodes, so I want to be very careful with this. Hope I can do this in one attempt. Okay, I'm not the worst at starts, but I definitely could have done better. Right, there we go, that's that one down. You can kind of take your time with this, really. So if you've got plenty of ammo in your pistol and that. Obviously, there's no time there. Obviously, the, the, these, these bodies won't be replaced unless you kill them all, so... Oh, come on. I'm going to beat 60. You watch me. I hope I do now after saying that. Right, there you go. Damn it. Okay, I'm getting a bit low on ammo now. Area clear. Twenty-six. Uh, not bad. I could have. I could have done better there. Right, let's do the next one. Right, I hope I can get better on this one. As many times as you can in the time limit. Got to focus on these squares here, because that's where targets are going to come from. All right. All targets run are worth one point. All right, let's do it. Aim! Three, two, one, fire! Oh, shit. Right, let's see if I can get some good... Get some... 
go get some good kills here. Okay, so far so good. So far I'm getting better on this one, I think. So I'm about to get all the ammunition. Oh shit. Okay, hopefully I can get 60 within the time limit. Well, get close to 60 anyway. Okay, got 12 minutes. Surely I can hit. Sure, I can get 60 within the time limit I've got. Okay, got 58, 59. Nah, almost. Right, I just need one more point from the next round. Sure, I can get one point. All targets are worth one point. All right, let's get this over with. I just need to hit one target. Right, that's one. Come on, get one target out here. There we go, there's one. Okay, I've got that one, that's good. Right, I've beaten the tar I've beaten the score, so I've passed Mitch Swong do, I'm gonna just run out of ammo. Okay, so I've beaten the score, I don't care about my high score, let's just get this over with. Okay, we've done it. I could have done better on that, but honestly, for how bad my shooting skills are, that's not too bad. So, do you want to do me a favor and help me put together a job? Son, after shooting like that, if you asked me to be your wife, I'd say yes. Ew! Yeah, I think I'd rather not be your wife. If you go on a date with Phil Cassidy, you're just asking him to get your head blown off if you piss him off. Okay, I'm gonna buy myself some body armor, so I'm definitely gonna need it before we pull off the bank job. Alright. Let's go head back to Mabu Club and do the next mission. The net this mission I absolutely hate. I don't hate it, I despise it. If you play GTA Vice C4 and you play this mission 4, you'll know exactly how bad this mission is. Probably one of the hardest missions in a Grand Theft Auto game. One of them anyway. There are worse missions in Grand Theft Auto I've played before, but when it comes to GTA Vice C, this is the worst mission in the game by far, in my opinion. Demolition Man, I don't care about the mission at all, I quite like that mission. I found Demolition Man tough when I was younger, but nowadays I don't find that mission that difficult at all. But this mission, I've found it tough ever since I first played this game, I still find it just as tricky even today. I just hope I could beat the driving mission first. If I could beat his driving mission first attempt, I swear I'm going to be the luckiest man on this planet. If I beat this in one attempt, because this guy really knows how to drive. And he's got a faster car than me as well, which makes things even worse. But we're going to get this done. We're going to get so I don't care how many attempts it takes, I am going to beat this guy. Okay, let's go inside the Malibu Club and let's do this next mission. Just let's just get this horrible mission out of the way. Who's this? Get to the payphone in Little Havana. Another assassination mission. I thought the other assassination mission we done earlier was the last one. Oh, perhaps there's another one. Mine I must have completely forgot about. Perhaps there's one assassination mission I completely forgot about. Okay, I think we'll check that out in the next episode, I think. Things are starting to come together nicely here. What's the plan, Tommy? Que pasa, amigo? The plan is you keep doing that like a moron. <laughs> Anyhow, we need a driver. Tommy, I'll do it. I can drive. <laughs> you want Hillary, mister. Not some smart talking law school chum. Hillary's a real deal. You ain't never seen anyone drive so fast. I'll give him a call here. Hey, Hill. It's Phil. How's it going? No, don't talk. We'll reminisce later. You want to do me a favor? I got me a guy from up north. No, oh, no, I don't think he was in the service. But he wants a driver for a bit of action. Okay, I understand. 
What do you say? Well, he'll do it, no problem. Well, there might be a little problem. See, he has abandonment issues. Seems he won't work for anyone who can't beat him. Something to do with his mama. Anyway, he wants to race you first. Said he'd meet you outside. Abandonment issues. Who is this freak? Why can't I meet someone normal for a change? You, Tommy? Oh. Of course you're Tommy. I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Okay, consider it this way. I'll drive for you if, and only if, you can drive properly. Leave me alone, and I'll never forgive you. All right, let's do this. To, to beat this guy, sometimes you need a miracle. Hopefully he can uh, crash a bit and hopefully I can overtake him. But I just need to be very careful with this. This guy can shoot right. And we got the police on our tail for this as well. Which, Yeah, this time I should have mentioned you also get the police on your tail for this mission as well, which is not great. Well, I'm just going to keep driving as quick as I can. And I'm just going to hopefully hope for the best of this kind of mission. I just hope the police don't end up fucking this up for me. It's only on two stars though, which is lucky. At least it's not more than two stars. At least it's not like only one. We had to break that police. We had to break that guy at the police station. Otherwise, this mission would be a nightmare. Probably impossible for me to complete, to be honest. He just took that guy out of me. Nice one, police officer. Perhaps it is handy having them, having having them for this mission as well. Oh shit! All right, I'm still on. I'm still first. I'm still first. He better not overtake me. I swear this. Ah, get behind me. I better do this first time. You son of a bitch! Oh, you son of a bitch! He stops. All right. This race ain't over yet. Come on, Hillary. Let me win, for fuck's sake. Only just got out of that. This has not gone great. Get out of the way, police officers. Okay, it's a bit far ahead now. I need to speed up now. So I don't crash into anything on the way. Otherwise, this race is good as finished. You guys can see why I hate this mission. This guy can seriously drive. So how bad my driving skills are. I'm not done as bad as I thought I would so far, but let's not jinx it yet. Faddy's got a fast economy. It's just a piss take. But hopefully I can overtake him at the end or something. The last minute or something. Right, I'm getting closer to him. I could have gone over the start there. Uh-oh. Yep, the end's just around the corner here, isn't it? And I've failed. Yep, of course I have. No surprise there. Many unbearable hours later. Okay, now I'm in a very handy lead. Oh, finally, this mission is done. Okay, I'll drive for you, but please treat me bad. Oh, I'll treat you bad, all right. Oh, that mission's finally done. Finally got it out of the way. All right. It's now time for the big one, the big bank job heist. Ho oh, oh, I'm looking forward to this. As you can see, gentlemen, this is going to be the easiest buck we ever made. <laughs> Tommy, seriously, you got to consider going into law. <sighs> what the hell are you smoking, man? This ain't no simple plan. Well, who needs a simple plan anyway? Take communism. Now, that was a simple plan. Didn't do Russia any favors, huh? Calm down, all right? With a team like this, it's going to be no problem. We got Kamon safe. Phil, you and me will handle security. And Hillary will drive the getaway car. I, I don't... Uh, <laughs> aren't you forgetting somebody? Somebody who helped you to no end in this town? Somebody Ken! Like Ken, that's right. Ken here, he washes the money for us. And he keeps the drinks on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Look, it's easy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? We walk into the bank. We wave the gun around. And leave very rich men. All right, let's do this. Come on, boys, we ain't got all day. Come on, Hillary, get in the car. All right, there we go. 
Okay, I've got 75% body armor. Actually, there is some body armor up here. I'm just going to quickly grab that, actually, because it could come in handy. I am not. R2. Hey, Tommy, why we stop? Because I want to grab some armor. That's why. Shut up, the both of you! You ready, boys? Let's go make ourselves some cash. Keep driving around the block, okay? Okay, Tommy, okay. Alright boys, you ready for this? It's now or never. Okay guys, nice and easy, just as we planned. Let's do this. Alright, let's do this. This is a raid! <laughs> Nobody move! Everybody up against that wall! Phil, hold down the fort. Wilco, roger that. Come on, Cam, the vault's upstairs. Alright, let's go find that vault. Best not keep these guys waiting for too long. It's quite a big bank they got in here. I mean, if I see is... I don't think so. Dickhead. Some body armor in here, I'll take it. Should just pick this body armor up in the end. Okay, so which way... Ah, up here. Okay. Dare get rid of this one as well. Pick up lots of ammo for my slime machine. I'm definitely going to need that a bit later on. Come on, man! You come on, man! Damn! It's a flangy 9000. This could take hours to crack. Or five minutes if you could find a manager. I'll go find where he's holed up. Alright, which one's going to be the manager? Well, it'll be simple. If they don't have to be managers, we'll just shoot their heads until they, can, Bill, the, until they come so forward. Sure. Everything's uh. real quiet. Good, let's keep it that way. Don't make me use this. You, you're coming with me. Okay, okay, just don't shoot. Get moving. Come on. He's gonna follow me. He better. No tricks. I said nobody move! It's on a time lock. You might as well give up now. Hell, I can bypass the time lock. Then we just need your key code and we're good. Stay here. You try anything and you're dead. I'm gonna check on Phil. I'll be right back. Okay. I just hope things haven't gone to shit. Things are quiet, so hopefully things are still just as quiet as they were earlier. I told you not to oh, touch no. The Phil, what have you done? I'm here. Calm down. Vice City SWAT, you are completely surrounded. Surrounded? <laughs> They're crapping themselves. Corrupt bastards. Tommy, the vault's open. Okay, we got the SWAT retirement fund. Let's get out of here. Okay, you asked for it. You had your last chance. They're storming the place. Take cover! Alright, here we go. I'm gonna take cover behind here. Well, these guys are a bit calmer now, aren't they? The SWAT team are here. We need to get out of here. Let's go. Yeah, where's Hillary? I'll give him a better issue. Hey guys! Hey, get in! I got you covered! Uh oh. We're down a man. Uh oh. Holy! 
Busted. Let's kill these guys quick and get the hell out of here. Right, let's go. We ain't got time for this. Just get in the car, no fuck ups. Right, just me and Phil alive now, I think. Right, let's just get us both out of here. Got four stars. This is gonna be tense. Pain spray's just here. Let's quickly get in there and get these police off our tail. Got away. That took quite a few attempts, actually. I was a bit unlucky with a SWAT team outside. So it took quite a few attempts to get to this point. We finally got a police hotel and we're finally rich men. I just hope robbing this bank was worth it. Okay, let's go lay low for a while. We made it! We're rich! Rich! Hey, Cam didn't make it. He was a good guy. Yeah, still more for us. Damn straight! Yeah! Mommy, would you like a massage? Well, hi there, Mercedes. Yeah, I'm a little tense. What'd I tell you, Tommy? What'd I tell ya? Bench swap better watch out when Ken Paul's in town. Come on, give me a big slice, mate. Come on, I've got to get some new friends. There we go. The bank heist is done. Bank job outfit delivered to Malibu Club in Vice Point. All right, nice. Okay, so we've done quite a bit for this episode, so now will be a good time to end the episode off. I'm going to head back to Starfish Island, save my progress, pick up some more weapons as we failed the mission. Tommy, I really enjoyed working with you. Ain't had so much fun since the Ridge and Nam, pal. Anyhow, if you need anything, you call on me, you hear? I always remember those I served with. And I'm sure I can help you out. Here? Good guys that Phil has. Perhaps we could do Phil's mission in the next episode, actually. Maybe do that assassination mission next episode as well. I think those would be some good missions to do. Yeah, help out Phil Cassidy. Since he did help us pull the paint drop, I guess we could help him out with a few missions in the next episode. I mean, Phil, Phil's a cool guy to hang around with. We should spend some time with Phil in the next episode. I think I already know what I'm going to be doing in the next episode. Get set back to the safe state, pick up some money, and yeah, we'll learn the episode off. That was a very long episode. So we've got all four of those bank asset missions completed. Very nice. Driver mission took many attempts. At least I managed to get it done. That mission's out of the way now, so I don't have to worry about it ever again. Thank Christ. Well, I'm going to head up here and say my prayers. I'll pick up the ammo and the body armor when I've ended the episode off, I think. Okay guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe and keep updated with the Grand Theft Auto Vice City episodes that loads my channel. And in the next episode, we'll go speak to Phil Cassidy. Since he did help us out with the bank job, I think we'll go pay him a visit see if he needs a hand with anything. Hopefully it'll be worth a bit of money. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. This is GoldieX and I'm out.